Alright, so hi guys, this video I'm going to show you how to install CentOverCast version 3.0.2 beta onto your Ubuntu um, onto your Ubuntu operating system. Now, um, this is an easy way than CentOverCast version 2.x because um, for, from now on, CentOverCast version 3 does not does not now support um php um five dash cli p um iron cube and anything but it's uh but uh, but iron cube is is um is included but um um it's now installed automatically so yeah so enough with talking let's start now now be sure that you have installed um my school server which is in here now go to um go to your terminal app so um i just pin my terminal to a desktop but but if the terminal doesn't show here just go to the dash home here then type in terminal then click on this um application now um i'm going to copy and paste this link over over the video description then go to the go and navigate to the installation um, category now we're going to do um copy and paste this sudo app dash get i'm going to paste it also if you don't want to visit the website or or if you're so lazy that it uh, that you don't want to visit the, the website now we're going to paste also this in the video description now you have two things to do. You can run the sudo command, or if you want, you can you can log into your root by by typing sudo dash s. But I'm going to use the sudo um command. So I'm going to do sudo command sudo app dash get install mysql server. Hit enter. Put in your password. Then it says after separation, I to that one megabits of additional disk will be used. Click on yes. Now let's go install all necessary files to um, install um, my SQL server. I'm going to write back until this was finished. Now, um, after you install um, the MySQL server, it will prompt you to have the package configuration. It will say the the password for the MySQL root user. I'm going to put in my password. Then retype your password. Then this is the now for configuring the package. It took me about four minutes and twenty-one seconds to fetch all the data that it needed. Now it's um, packing all um, it needed, like libnet, um, MySQL server, MySQL client, the client core, and um, anything. So I'm going to pause the video until it's installed. All right, so it's now installed. Um, um. My skill will is now started um, automatically after the installation. But if it does not, if if it does not start automatically after the installation, just type sudo service mysql start and hit enter, and it will go and start the server. Now, check if your server is if the mysql server is um, started. You can type this command. I'm going to paste this command in the video description also. sudo netstat dash tab the and grab my scroll. I don't know that uh, that like that. So I press on. Right, hit enter. And if you see this, um, it um, you're good to go. Now, now the optional step is um to create your database, but 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 my skill is um is provided some test um empty test databases to to start you with so so if you want to create a database um um that is the optional step but i'm going to create a, a, another video tutorial on how to create your own database in mysql so next one you're now finished mysql installation now go to centovacast.com and go to centovacast page and click on order. Now you will go into shortcast icecast Windows major services will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. So we're going to do service selection. 
right so after that um go to shot cast and ice cast so um go stream capacity if you have more than 25 station take that or anything just depend on your choice or if, or if you want to run your own station only just click one station there are payment terms like free trial monthly and annually in one time payment so if it's one time payment you, you can you can only pay once monthly you you are going to pay by month like january pay is paid to rise paid annually which is you you, you are going to pay the year just like in just like in 2013 you, you're just paying but in 2014 you you are going to pay also i'll go to free trial um yeah then on handed services you going if you want to require professional service quote no or yes if you stick if you click yes you have 70 dollars one um 70 dollars of installation i'm going to click no then hit order then choose your product trials and you're going to say tomcast get 3.0 linux or say tomcast v.2.x um trial license I i'm going to create also another tutorial on how to install some tomcast version 2.x this is the most advanced installation so just stay tuned with that so um um you will not see this if you if you select monthly or annually or one-time payment you, um it will it will redirect you to the payment um service like paypal or or fill up anything there so i'm going so i'll go skip that for now and i'll go to choose trial so if you click on free trial you're going to see the available trial so i'm going to click on the topic has to be version 3.0 since that is our what we're going to do today Then I'll go and choose my bill and password. Your full domain name. Um, your 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 domain name might change after the installation. So hit on agree and hit next. Then it's now keep for provisioning. And what you have to do is wait for an email. I'll go into right back until the email adjustment arrives. It may take a minute or long. So I'll go into right back as soon as the email arrives. Alright, so I just received my email right now here. Um, it took me about 10 to 20 minutes before I received the email, so just be patient. So as you can see, here is the license key that we're going to copy and paste. Now go to the um, to the manual that's given for you. And don't use the quick installation, just do full installation. Then you'll see this. Now, open a text editor, like a uh, open text editor here. Because you need to put the license key because it will uh, automatically be um, installed onto the terminal without you, without, um, Providing your license key, so it will not. Pro it will not. Be, um, it, um, you cannot use. Mm, you cannot use set of a cast if you don't. If you if you don't change from license key to license key. Um. Now, go um paste in here. Then copy and paste the license key. here so paste it in here now it's a really long license key but still really good now paste um paste it here as a copy or cut then close the editor then go go back to your terminal application then right click and paste the um, install.sh now hit on enter and it will download the install the sh file right it's now installed really fast now you need to um you need to um, make it executable type um to make it to make it executable, type chmod a plus x install. Oh, sorry. 
yeah, install dot sh. Then it's now making this executable, just like here. Or uh, yeah, just starting ch mod uh, a plus x here. Right, so it's now executable. Now run the installation script. Now this is um, next one. You need to decide what streaming server or source software you want to get installed for you. Now we'll, um, you if you want if you want to have shotcast one, um, shotcast version two, you need to add sh um dash dash um two dash shotcast two. I'm going to make it two. I'm going to install shotcast DNS one. Then it's 2, 1, IceCast, and SECAS. ICCC may take a long time to install, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Yeah. Or I'm going to um, uh, skip that for now. Now we're going to do um, type in sudo. Uh, you can, you can um, in this installation, you can log into your root directory by, by just typing sudo dash h dash s that I mentioned earlier in the in the, in the um, beginning of the video so but uh, but we're going to choose we're going to use sudo so you can type in um, copy and paste oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that sorry about any errors I'm going to type in sudo dot slash install dot sh now um, you will see you it has an option it's like dash dash shotcast2 dash dash shotcast2 now we're going to type in dash dash shotcast2 dash dash shotcast1 dash dash icecast then dash dash scTrans2 yeah be sure that be sure that's correct then after that hit enter um enter then type in your sudo password if, if it's provided. Now it will now install Centopicast. Simple as that. Now it's now installing Centopicast compiles, then the application server itself. I'm going to write back as soon as this is done. And, um, and yeah, I'm going to get back to my system. Now, if you select um IceCast 2 from the supplementary software that you put, you know, remember the dash dash um, something something like that after after the install dot sh. Now, um, if you if you type dash dash IceCast, it will also install IceCast. Now, you're going to see the configuration. If you want to configure IceCast 2, just hit yes. Or if you don't want it, no, I'm going to configure it. Hit yes. IceCast 2 username local host and maybe 127.0.0.1 that's our local host thing okay hack me really password hack me administration hacker password is admin pass now it will install um the um common files the application server even the image diamond and anything that it needs and it will generate this software SSL certificate and this is the cast common files and it will also install supplementary software installation I'm not going to post a video until this is done now after that it will say launch the web interface I'm going to copy and paste this link for a block I'm going to copy the link address then you can configure it now it will um, show us the installation just hit continue I'm going, I'm going for the administrator pass my email address my password and the confirm password I'm going to choose the database name uh, I'm going to use the test database name that that's going to submit in the MySQL server the MySQL user name is root or if you want, you can create your own username in MySQL. I'm going to cover that in the in the, ne in the next soon next tutorial. And you have MySQL password that you configured earlier. And the MySQL thing will be localhost. Hit next. 
and just wait. Now it says control panel initialization successful. Please click on Tadden to set up my guys. Click here. Now you're going to type in admin, then my your password. Click remember me if you want to remember this uh, page in terms and this okay. Now you will see this. Set up a cast um control panel. Now you have this you have this been finished and you have now a full functional installed set up a cast onto your Ubuntu onto your Ubuntu operating system. I'm going to create a new account just for a demo. I'm going to create this is like a yes. The best we do hit create. Then I'm going to put my username, the host name, the IP address, I'll go for it, Gmail, then I have email address, then the source password, administrative password, then then some more limits. Uh, I'm going to unlimit it there. Slots will be 100 listeners, other DJ, family if I'm disabled. Then I team, you want to click on create. Next, now create it. Then um, I'm going to change the port because some um, they're using um, someone using a port 8000, which is by a port 8400. Like date, then I'm going to hit return. Then um, start this server. Go to manage. Then check on check on the check uh, checkbox. Then it starts selected. It start it continue. And you have just been uh, created a server. When you click on the port, and you will see this. Right? That's why the public video to switch comes to screen. Sorry for the errors I lost earlier. And um, and my voice also is sorry about that. Right? So that's why the public video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel and the next video I'm going to, go, um, I'm going to cover you is the show set up a cast text and many more to soon all right thank you and I hope I hope you have uh, enjoyed the set up a cast control panel uh, good luck on your installation please hit comment subscribe thank you